Moose and the Mad here, and um, we've got a step-by-step -step guide on how to unlock the cosmetics and skip the campaign for Necromunda Underhive Wars. This was um, posted by, I think, a user called um, Adarask. Um, that's what it says here, credit to Ad Adarask. Um, so yeah, I didn't, I didn't uh, put this up, I just, um, but I had a lot of trouble getting this to work. So I thought that I would put up a video explaining how I did it so that, you know, in case you guys are having the same issue, um, you can just follow these instructions. You just Google Necromunda under high wars, how to unlock cosmetics and skip campaign. You'll come across this page, or there's a couple of other versions of it that have been reposted elsewhere as well. Step one, download the file from here. Now, if you click on this, you'll find out that it doesn't actually work. Kind of got stuck at that point, um, but then uh, this user Prir, Prir, I don't know if that's right, said it's still downloadable. Just copy and paste the link into J Downloader. So uh, at this point, I was getting, I was a little bit dubious. I'm like, oh, I mean, I don't even know if this file's like going to be a virus or something. But you know, and now I got to download some other third-party program as well. But I was like, you know, these guys seem legit. Why not? I'll give it a crack. Um, and I really didn't want to have to play the campaign. I mean, I want to play the campaign. Don't get me wrong. Play. If you haven't played the campaign, play the campaign. Give it, at least do a couple of missions of it. It's actually pretty cool. And the AI actually works a lot better in the campaign than it does in the um, in the operations at the moment. So until they patch the AI, you might want to give the campaign a go. But um, but I wanted to do it. I want to do it in my own time. And I didn't like that the cosmetic options were um, locked behind finishing the campaign because the campaign's quite grueling. You have to get through fifteen missions. Some of them are quite long. Um, anyway, so this is how you avoid that and you can get straight into your customization options. So, yeah, so this guy is like, okay, you got to download J Downloader to make that file thing work. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I, I, uh, I look up J Downloader, J Downloader, and um, I find the J Downloader official homepage. So I'm like, all right, that looks, that looks legit. You know, I'm still wondering if maybe it's some sort of elaborate hoax to get me to get me to download a, a, uh, a Trojan or something, but you know, whatever. Um, so you download here, then you go uh, Windows, you download this, click Start to Download. Okay, so you get this, <clears throat> you can say yes, extracting, then it's gonna say this, you go next, choose where you wanna put it, uh, say yes to that stuff. Uh, yes. Um, now here, be careful about these things. All these free things that's trying to get you to install. So no, we don't want that. This one, you've got to untick this. So that's going to install McAfee. And next, uh, that installs. Now you've installed um, J Downloader, right? So then you go back here. And you uh, don't don't click on this link. Just copy this link. Copy the actual um, link text. Control C, and then you go into your um, boot up your J Downloader, and it looks something like this. Okay, and then you click in here, and you can either do Control V, or you can right click and do Paste Links. That'll paste paste the link from your um, clipboard, and then you'll have this. <coughs> And then down the bottom here, you press start downloads, start all downloads. And um, mine's, I've already downloaded it, so it's got it here, but you, just, you'll, you won't have this option, it'll just download, go okay. Then it's gonna say the um, status up here. <clears throat> and there we go, it's finished. So then the file that you want should be in your downloads folder. So navigate to your downloads folder in Windows, and this is it here, this folder that says profile. Um, you open that up, and then that's the save file in there that you need, the profile file. Uh, step two, you gotta locate your save file in your um, like Steam directory in your Necromun in Necromunda. So basically, you wanna go into your C drive or whatever your primary drive is under users, your username, app data, etc. So um, users, then you go for your username, mine's Mercy, then you go to um, App data, then you go local, then you go Necromunda saved, the Necromunda saved, then you go save games, and then you'll get something like this, right? 
so there's, I've got a couple of gangs here. I've got my profile, and the profile is what we're what we're trying to fix, right? So basically, what I rec highly recommend that you do, um, like basically, just do this. Definitely, otherwise, you're going to totally screw yourself. Um, okay, so copy everything in there. Copy, Control C, copy, and then create a new folder on your desktop or somewhere. Um, call it backup folder or something, and just um, keep this stuff safe by putting it in there. So we'll um, Control V. So you see, I've got my got my backup folder here with all of my um, save games and my user settings, safe as houses in there. Um, I hope they save as houses because I'm about to do this. I'm about to do this again now and potentially screw up my whole game. Um, now, um, so then what you want to do is you want to um, delete your, um, or well, you want to take the name of your your profile that you're actually using in the game. So it's so this name. And then you'll notice if you look at the one you downloaded, this one's got a different um, different name. So they have to match, you know, for it to kind of work. So basically, what you want to do is re change the name of the file that you downloaded to be the same as the name of the file that's in your actual save games. Um, and, and just remember, we've backed that up in a separate folder over here in the um, this backup folder here. Um, so we've got that safe. We're not messing with that. This is the um, this is the game files here that we're messing with. So I've I've just copied the name of my legit file and overwritten the name of the downloaded one with that. So it's the same name, but these are actually different files, obviously. Then you want to copy the downloaded file that's now got the new name, the same as your stuff, and then paste it into your game folder and replace the file at this station. So now what's going to happen now is that um, the the game's going to try to load um, Adarask's profile and he's already got the final mission unlocked on his on his game. Launch your um, Necromunda. Load the game up. That's not my gang, that's one of Adarask's gangs. Um, and, but if you try and load it up, get yeah, this stuff going on. Corruption, error file, corrupt. He said, you know, just don't worry about this. Just press confirm and then you'll be right to go. But you'll notice that when I press confirm, it didn't load the gang. And I try and load the gang again. Corruption, error. You may not have this problem. You might, he said, just you just say, okay, fine, whatever, ignore the error and then carry on and then you're good. Maybe that'll happen for you. Um, and then, you know, you can stop the video at this point. You should have your cosmetics unlocked and you're all good to go. But for me, I got to this point, presumably cosmetics are unlocked, but because of this error, I can't actually load any gangs or create any gangs or play the game. So all I can do is go into story mode. So if you go into story mode, you'll see that he's got all of the um, story missions unlocked. Okay, so if Adarask's version works for you, you just um, get get his profile, change it to the name same name as your profile, copy it over the top of your profile, leave all your saved games intact, load it up, you get the error message, you click OK, and then the error message goes away and it lets you play on normally. If that works for you, fantastic. Um, if it doesn't though, and it didn't work for me, then what you need to do is delete all of your save games, delete all of your profile information, except for just the profile, just Adarask's profile, which you've now renamed. So everything else will be empty in there. Um, so yeah, so but you've got the choice at this point. Either you, if, it, if, his, if his version works, then great. You've got your save games and you've got the cosmetic options unlocked. If it doesn't work, you've now got a choice. You can either, you've got all your save games still backed up. You can either just, just delete everything out of there, delete Adarask's profile and just copy your original, all your original data back into that folder and then you'll revert your game back to um, how it was before with no cosmetic options unlocked but you'll still have your save games or if you're like me um, you, you, it's pretty easy to get back up it doesn't take too long just um, yeah, just delete all your save games just go with Adarask profile only and then you'll be able to unlock the cosmetic options and then just make some new saves make some new games from scratch um, so I'll explain how to do that now to your uh, save files in here <clears throat> now this is this has got all of your files but it's also got Adarask's profile as well. And there's kind of like um, a problem here that's, that's causing an issue. Um, so yeah, basically what you want to do is delete all of this stuff and just leave only Adarask's profile in there. You gang, hopefully now you're not going to have any conflicts. As you go here, start a gang, create a new gang. Um, so hopefully now we're just in with Adarask profile. We've got no existing gangs. Shouldn't be any any conflicts. 
restart your game and uh, there you have it guys you should have all the cosmetic options unlocked the gas masks for all factions the special haircuts for your Escher and your Goliath leaders um, full credit to um, Adarask thanks so much for uh, posting that stuff up I haven't finished the campaign myself these are Adarask saves so thanks for providing them to the community as along with the instructions of how to unlock those cosmetic options Adarask um, if you guys want to see uh, some of my um, cosmetic options that I've, I've done with, uh, with the gas, new gas masks, um, I'm going to be putting up some more videos uh, very soon. Next one tonight is going to be a attempt at a um, deadly missions with uh, no weapons, so unarmed, um, deadly, and uh, solo. So just using one character against you know five or ten or fifteen, how many opponents? Um, I almost did it earlier today, but I just died on the last the last opponent. So, gonna give it another go tonight. Should be able to do it, no problem. Um, that should be fun. Um, so yeah, if you want to check out that video or others by me, um, yeah, you can subscribe or uh, you know just keep an eye out in the future. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks guys.